There have been numerous delays over the years in returning to South Korean control military installations now being used by U.S. forces. With the South Korean presidential office calling for more urgency, the U.S. military says it's making progress. EG1 reports. U.S. Forces Korea says it's ready to promptly return some of its military bases in the country as requested by the South Korean government. In a statement Wednesday, the USFK said 15 of its 26 military installations in South Korea have already been cleared out, which includes the four sites specifically requested by Seoul. They are Share Range, Camps Eagle and Long, and parcels of Camp Market. Their return has been slow due to the need to clean up the polluted land. The USFK also said five parcels of the Yongsan garrison, located in a prime real estate area in Central Seoul, is also ready for transfer. This comes as South Korea's National Security Council said last month that it will expedite work on transferring 26 U.S. military bases within the country to Camp Humphreys in Pyeongtaek, Gyeonggi-do province, and take back the Yongsan garrison within the year. Under several agreements, the two sides have been working to relocate all U.S. military bases to Pyeongtaek. So far, 54 of the 80 USFK military bases in South Korea have been returned to South Korean control. There are some critics, however, who say the U.S. forces' move is related to Seoul and Washington's frustration with each other over South Korea's recent decision to terminate its military information sharing pact with Japan due to its loss of trust in Tokyo. Meanwhile, South Korea's Foreign Affairs Minister Kang kyung hwa will tour Camp Humphreys and Osan Air Base on Friday. The ministry says Kang meant to visit the soldiers earlier to encourage them, but she hasn't had the chance until now. She will meet with USFK Commander Robert Abrams to reaffirm their strong alliance and emphasize the need for close coordination for peace and the denuclearization of the peninsula. They are also expected to touch upon the upcoming negotiations on their defense cost-sharing deal for next year. With Seoul and Washington expected to resume those talks soon, it remains to be seen if or how the prompt return of the military bases will affect those negotiations. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.